Thank you, channel um, from Colombia for having me. I hope you all enjoyed. I love being here and I appreciate you listening. Es un gusto, Raven. Yo quisiera preguntarte sobre el poder, bueno, debutar en la industria del cine para adultos, pero también qué es lo más importante que ha podido distinguir de lo que usted antes como espectadora y ya estando en la industria que ha podido ver diferencias tanto positivas como negativas cuéntame That's the first question not only we're going to talk about um, uh, the time that you debuted in the adult film industry but what changes do you see like being some kind of spectator maybe to now working in this industry um yeah so Like from when I got started, um, I was more into like the uh, webcam portion. So I was doing like my OnlyFans. I was creating clips for many vids and I was just like streaming. Um, and then I slowly worked um, from that to like content creation and collaborating with other people in the industry. And then from that, I worked to performing professionally for studios. So it just kind of like, Like started um, from like the solo stuff all the way to doing it pro pro professionally, and it's been really cool to just like see the um, the uh, difference from like the amateur side to kind of like the more um, professional side, really. <laughs> Muy bien, Raider. Eh, también es importante destacar de que aparte cuando estás en la industria ya comenzando. Mencionaste el OnlyFans. Eh, yo recuerdo que hace unos meses atrás tuvimos Esperanza Gómez, ella habló sobre el desempeño de la plataforma, de que la plataforma parte del contenido para adultos sirve para también monetizar ciertos aspectos. ¿Qué ha podido usted de pronto eh, tener o descubrir de aquella plataforma que diga, bueno, tengo mi contenido erótico, pero también quiero eh, también cumplir las expectativas de mis clientes? ¿Qué puede ¿Qué ideas tienen al respecto? Teniendo en cuenta que ambas son pioneras. Ajá. Ok. Uh, but in this channel, uh, we told with Esperanza Gómez, you know, the video star for here from Colombia, our country, and she tell us about her OnlyFans. In fact, she was the first woman in Colombia to get an OnlyFans account, and you tell us about your account. What, like, yes, what kind of, I don't know, like, Mm, uses you are doing with this account not only with the uh, with the adult oriented material but to showcase like yes like another size of your career because I know that only fans is not only for pictures or videos but more things tell us right um right so yeah in my only fans um I really just kind of showcase it's like a look into my personal life you know So there's like, of course, the pictures and videos that I share, um, but it's also like I use it to like uh, message people and talk and like form connections with people. Um, I live stream on there a lot. You know, I, I go and I do um, like story times where I just go and like talk about life and what's happening. Um, and yeah, it's it's just uh, in, in addition to the adult content. You know, I don't just do adult content on there, <laughs> but a little bit of everything. <laughs> awesome. John. Bueno, también vale destacar porque, bueno, aparte de todo esto que ha aprendido, también ha debutado en ciertas empresas importantes. Entonces, ¿cuál es la mayor diferencia o el mayor eh, puede ser experiencia que he tenido en algunas de estas industrias de pronto que digo bueno en esta industria aprendí a manejar este el estilo de mi personaje y también poder tratar a los pues a los compañeros y también cómo es la expectativa con los fans. We know that you had worked with like many enterprises, so uh, this question is not for comparing but for the learning that you had in everyone i mean like yes in this like in this enterprise i developed more my character or developed more my my scenes and also how do you feel with the connection you talked about yes how do you use your only fans but how do you see the connection with your fans working in different enterprises 
I don't know, maybe styles. <laughs> yeah, so um I mean like just like different um studios and stuff like that I've worked with. Um I mean, yeah, so I've been in for three years now and like the different like working um with different studios i've been I'm, i'm a very naturally shy person you know so so i i've developed my i've, I've been forced to kind of come out of my shell a little bit and de develop some of my, my social skills and my um uh you know kind of like growing growing and being comfortable talking to people and comfortable um like sharing sharing my my life um really with, with people um and it's been very interesting um to see and like like share experiences with, with people from different walks of life different um different professions different um you know just i mean really just different lives you know i i came from before i started um i worked as an engineer so i kind of came from like that corporate background and everything so i got a little bit a little bit of both you know <laughs> um so i think that kind of helps in um in my terms of like relating with people um with those types of backgrounds as well I don't know if that answered the question or not, but. <laughs> yes, in fact, I will say something in behalf of my friend John. I know that, in fact, I was asking. Uh, this channel is a start growing and somehow it had become like a, a window. Yes, for people from the all enterprise, but mostly for the adult field enterprise. And they had shared, I, I, I think you had seen some of the names that have been here. They had shared yeah. their stories. And as a media, we thank you for accept the call, for opening. You know, this is a serious channel and you are doing it great. So it's great that you say that you are shy because you are doing it great. <laughs> thank I, you. I will, I will translate to John. John, es que ella dice que ya es muy tímida. Le estoy diciendo que lo está haciendo oh. increíble. ¿no? Y que le agradecemos como medio. Le agradecemos como medio que se haya acercado. Sí. También, Raven, es muy sí. interesante poder... Eh, preguntarte sobre, bueno, eh, los medios del cine para adultos siempre ha sido un poco como eh, celosos con el tema de los medios, pues, estándares, como lo conocemos, que vemos una estrella del cine para adultos en la televisión o más en este medio independiente y dice, ah, pero ¿por qué no entrevistan a otra persona? Pero uh -huh. estamos entrevistando a una estrella del cine para adultos que es su trabajo y que queremos en este canal visibilizar que esto es un trabajo que se gana y que también vale la pena destacar, darle neutralidad, normalidad. ¿Qué opinas al respecto? ¿Qué debe mejorar los medios? Ok. Uh, you know that sometimes the media are not doing the, their work. In fact, I don't know if John tell you that, I don't know if it's like jealousy or some kind of lack of professionalism. And don't they don't show they try to showcase more the like the scandal and not the, the actual war, actual yeah. hard work that got this this enterprise. But we want to know what is your position as a worker, of course, uh, about yes, the, the mistakes that the media commit with the adult film industry. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I definitely agree. They um showcase more of the uh. The scandals that go on. Um, I think that has to do with like, like I don't know. The adult industry is an industry where um, it has like a bad rap. There's a lot of um, you know a lot of people um, don't view it as like a real job. You know, <laughs> so uh, any sort of like uh, story or like bad um experience that someone has that can um make it to like the mainstream media they they kind of like to highlight that and say see the industry is really bad um so they focus more on that instead of all of the the good you know because really the industry it's filled with people just just doing their jobs or just trying to make money where people like everyone else um And yeah, it's it's really it's just uh it's our job. <laughs> it's just a regular job. <laughs> And don't worry because this channel is about showing jobs in every <laughs> in every part of the industry. No, no, I mean I I, I know sounds weird. No, no, not that no no that kind of jobs. But showing that yes, I know sorry. But showing that yes, you the film industry is like the the Hollywood film industry or the 
be cinema industry or the television. Thank you, thank you. Eh, in, in, in Spanish sound better, yo ser trabajos, o trabajos, trabajos. <laughs> the, the word, yo. Ok. Yes. Dale, yo, eh, es que fue muy gracioso. Es, es eh, curioso porque mencionaste, bueno, el trabajo con distintas compañeras, por ejemplo, acá en Colombia, en Cúcuta tenemos a Vero Leal, pues puede ser que más adelante trabaje en UNTA, pero lo que sí te digo es que Actualmente la nueva generación de las estrellas del cine para adultos, que eso te incluye, tiende ya más adelante a tener más dominio para dirigir, para escribir o para editar. Si tú tuvieras la oportunidad de dirigir tu propia película de cine para adultos, ¿qué escenario, qué tipo de historia? Porque a muchos les gustan las historias. Entonces, ¿cómo sería ese desempeño? Y hay que reconocer también que la que mencionaste también, lleva casi el mismo tiempo, o sea que es increíble lo que ha logrado tres años, ok uh, we know that this uh, I want to say new generation but this, but you become like, yes, like, like, like for a new breed of actresses or performers this new generation is like more active, they don't only add but they want to produce, direct do like you say, do things like are more Mm, especially with the fans, like talking. If you somehow, and if you have to do it correctly, direct a feel, what is your vision? What do you want to do for the adult film industry or for other kind of things? Tell us. Um, so for the time being, like I'm just really enjoying this industry and I'm really, um, you know, I, I got into it not expecting really to go this far. You know, I just started just, just for fun. Um, And I never expected that I would like, you know, be shooting professionally and like actually have fans and stuff. So that's been really cool to see. Um, so I, you know, I really want to just keep going with it and I enjoy it. So as long as I enjoy it and as long as my body allows me to be <laughs> acting in these films, I, I would love to. Um, you know, I, I see myself maybe directing a little bit in the future or maybe like you know, <laughs> like making a website or something. Just, I don't know. I love this industry. I think I, I will always have at least some part of it. <laughs> eh, John, ¿haces la pregunta o no? Cuidas. Bueno, tú complementas. Eh, el rey, también este, es importante de que, bueno, cada vez que mencionamos algunas estrellas, estuvo aquí Sean Dan, que obviamente él nos habló de tu gran trabajo, que, que es Good La Cena. Y bueno, yo me acuerdo que eso se subió a la plataforma de Chondán el 26 de julio del 2019, siempre lleva harto tiempo, pero es una de las más vistas de la página de él. Entonces, eh, ¿cómo es trabajar eh, no solo con una persona como él, sino también, este Andrés, con varias estrellas que hemos tenido aquí? Ok, this is like a mis question we were talking, because you know that in this channel appear Chondán. In fact, the scene that you made with him is one of the most scenes on his website, sorry, it's something like, it's like five, five crackers, so don't worry, you hear some. That's okay. Uh, but in this channel, we also had people like Veronica Leal, she's, she's from our city, but she now she's huge in Budapest. And also we got people like Rocco y Freddy. The yes. question is, Jen, ¿con quién gusta trabajar? Yes, we, there is like a dream actor or actress that you want to work or type of material that, oh, I need to do this? Tell us. Um, so I'm pretty much like, like, like I like to try like, like everything, <laughs> you know? So I, I love traveling. So like, I love working with like new people. Um, I've just started shooting in Europe this year. So I've been working with a lot of really new people that, you know, I haven't worked with. They're not new to the industry, but they're new to me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I just like to take the experiences as they come. And, um, yeah, yeah, just really enjoy, you know, trying things. If I haven't tried it, I, I'm pretty much up for trying everything at least once. You know, I'd, I don't like to say I don't like something unless I haven't tried it. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> in, in fact, I will say it. John, lo diré. Uh, we really want to see you work with, with our friend for our city, with Veronica. Uh, yeah. You will do an amazing scene. But you are beautiful, smart, amazing. Oh, my God. 
Dije que me gustaría que trabaje con Verónica. Lo dije, lo dije en el canal. Se, se, se firman piedra. Y no solo poder experimentar, poder disfrutar de todos estos espacios, también sí me gustaría preguntarle sobre si alguna vez, aparte del cine para otros, como hay algunos invitados que han estado acá, que han incursionado en el set de muerte, ¿le gustaría alguna vez participar en una historia eh, del cine tradicional? Y también, este, eh, ¿cuál sería de pronto la, la más ventaja que puede pues, experimentar, aparte de todo lo que llevas a aprender? Y quiero complementar, eh, porque ella dijo más o menos que ella ahorita está esperando a ver lo que pasa. O sea, uh -huh. y esa película. Pero le voy a decir que tiene como un perfil, así como nuestra amiga Leilani tiene ese perfil de, tú sabes, uh -huh. ella me recuerda mucho a, a mí, hago en cierto sentido. Uh -huh. Ok, this is a great question from John and I miss it. Because, yes, we see you, and you got a really great profile. I mean, like a star profile. And you tell us that you want to see what happens in your career, like maybe directing, maybe doing. But I need to say it more for, with the fever of this movie. You, more with your name and everything, you remind me a, a little bit to the actress Mia God. You know that she's making a huge, an amazing career with uh, Ed's, um, the Pearl, and you got an amazing name that is Rebel. Yes, but do you see, I know you answer us, but, but do you see doing like a role in a motion picture or a series? Tell us because, for example, uh, Leilani Lay, they tell us that she wanna, she tell us that she uh, may all kind of do like a role of a biker in a series, in, in Sons of Anarchy. Um, but also, Veronica, they tell us that she wanna even work with Johnny Ed, and I hope that she work with Johnny Ed. The sky is the limit, you know. But do you wanna, what is like a, a dream role? Um, you know, I think something like that would be, I would love to do that. Um, the uh, shy part of me is terrified to play a role in the movie, but I think uh, I think it would be really fun. <laughs> um, I, you know, like like a role, like really, I don't know, any role. <laughs> um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down if it ever happens. I'm, I'm available. <laughs> If I will be director, uh, you are hired. ¿Cierto, John? Yeah, awesome, si, ella, awesome. si, si, si tú fueras el director, <ríe> contratada, ¿no? Contratada, sí. hired. ¿Quién quita que salga en un episodio de Euphoria, así como de Social Challenge? ¿Ve? Maybe, in fact, maybe uh, appear in some series like Euphoria, this new kind of series, I don't know. In fact, I want to know, what are you, John, déjame esta pregunta a mí. Mm -hmm. What, uh, because we want to know more about you, what is your uh, favorite a style of cinema, in fact, meets a question. Um, and not only what is the type of the scenes that you want to make, yeah, that you love to make in the adult film industry, but also what is the type of cinema or movies that you love in the other industry? Okay, so adult industry and just regular. Okay, cool. So adult movie or adult industries, um, I like anal stuff. <laughs> So that's my favorite to make and watch um, <laughs> in regular uh, Hollywood or whatever you call it. I like um, sometimes it changes, but I am a fan of like like the Disney movies, <laughs> like Disney animated. <laughs> if it's if it looks cute and like you know like like your granddaughter, daughter, whatever would watch it, then I'd probably love it. <laughs> I really love that as were that, that two words. Yeah, yeah, it's like the two different extremes, right? John <laughs> entendiste, ¿no? Aprobado. I understand. Aprobado. Aprobado, listo. No, es increíble. Eh, bueno, ahí que queda más tiempo que yo Quiero preguntarle sobre cómo te ves tú en 5 a 10 años y también este, si llega la oportunidad de poder tener de pronto todo eso de reconocimiento, todos esos premios, ¿cuáles serían los proyectos que tienes en mente? ¿Le gustaría alguna vez escribir un libro? Uh, we got more time. So I know that the awards doesn't define a career, but how do you see in the like in the next five years i don't know if you may be winning an award 
But what do you see? I know that you tell us that you are, you want to see what happens next. But maybe we're writing like a, a wood or I don't know. Like what, how do you see in the next five years? Um, so the next five years, um, of course, you know, continue performing. Um, but I'd like to start um, directing a couple of my scenes. I have um, it, a couple ideas for maybe like a future series or a website or something in mind that I'm just kind of like letting letting um kind of create itself um so i'd really really like to start um start doing some of that learning camera work learning how to take photos of people and um i already know how to edit so i, I love doing that so i think uh i think that's just kind of the next logical step for me <laughs> oh, that's great i don't know how to edit so <laughs> john ella ya sabe editar ah, escribiendo sus escenas y dirigiéndolas y haciendo un website. Wow, eso es amazing. Eh, por último, ¿cómo te defines en una palabra? No puedo faltar. Okay, as a final, the same question that we do to all the people in the industry. How do you define in one word? The industry? In one you. word? Or oh, you. Me. me. Um, I mean, my name is Rebel. Can I just say a rebel? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I was I was going to say that, but uh, yes, yes. we need to ask it. We need to ask it. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. In fact, for the final picture, we need we need that your name appears and you, John. Felicitarle y rezo. Bravo, bravo, Rebel. You did amazing. Bueno, por último, tus redes sociales. Un saludo para Colombia. Un saludo para el canal. Ah, y también hay un fan que te envío un saludo, pero bueno. Primero pero hay que, hay que decir lo que tú me dijiste en la entrevista. Que con esta entrevista al canal, y es verdad, se nos va a volver increíble. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ok. As a final, the camera is yours, Rebel. Uh, tell your social media so people can follow you. If there is a project, tell us. And we need to say it because before this interview started, we were talking that when with you in the channel this channel will be more awesome and you and, and we say it seriously so thank you for being here but the camera is yours tell your social media so people can follow you okay. can i be high to the channel to whatever you want <laughs> all right uh well you can find me on twitter at rebel writer triple x on instagram at rebel writer or just google my name and then you'll find me <laughs> Mario. <laughs> well, hello, Mario from Rebel Rider. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> Thank you, channel um, from Colombia for having me. I hope you all enjoyed. I love being here and I appreciate you listening. <laughs> Mario, you're a lucky bastard. No, <laughs> 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 Mario, eres el mejor. La foto, ¿cierto? Sí, por favor, la foto. Solo. Okay, Rebel, and now the final picture. So glad that your name appears. So give us that beautiful smile. I am the happiest man on earth. Soy el hombre más feliz en la tierra. Bueno, eh, Rebel, eh, alguna algún mensaje de pronto como despedida para finalizar? No sé. Okay, we got more time. So we yeah we you say your social media. You send a big hi to the channel. But there is like a final some final message that you wanna give. To end out this amazing interview. Um, final message. In Ooh, fact, I, I got know. a question. I got a question. Okay. In, in terms of interviews, this is like your first outside of the US, or in terms of interviews, this interview is like what? Your first, 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 first? Uh, well, it's my first outside of the US. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Primera entrevista fuera de Estados Unidos. Anota eso. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks for being my first. <laughs> ah, es un gusto, es un honor y no, eh, te queremos agradecer. Muchas gracias y yo sé que el tiempo tuyo es limitado, pero no. Bienvenida siempre al canal. Gracias. No, Rebel, thank you. We know that your time is limited, so thank you for taking up time of your schedule to for being in the channel. Like we say, this channel will get more awesome with. Thank you. We salute you and the channel is your house. 
Thank you. And we love Thank you. Thank you so much. Very, Thank very you much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank bye, you. bye. Que pase gran noche. Good yes, night. Have a, have a great night. Bye, bye, Rebecca. Good weekend. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.